Hi, my name is Ian Donaldson, and I'm going to be presenting on The Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, painted by Caspar David Friedrich in 1818. And this painting was painted under the style of Romanticism. So Romanticism was a literary, musical, and artwork movement. It was flourished from 1800 to 1900. It was popular all across Europe, but it was especially prevalent in Germany. Some of the style traits are they stressed emotion over a static logic, so every, everything in Romanticism has an emotional pull, nothing's just sitting still. There was focus on the individual, exotic locales, and themes center, centered around nature. Landscape painting was a big deal, and nature was often depicted in an awe-inspiring, ferocious, almost violent sort of way. Some of the leading artists were Friedrich from Germany, Francisco de Goya from Spain, and two English artists were John Constable and William Turner. So the wanderer above the sea of fog. First off, we see a tumultuous, sort of stormy-like quality. The fog has almost like a storm starting to form. It's a landscape painting. Um, it's a somewhat exotic location. The dark colors in the foreground highlight sort of the emotional undertone to it because if you look closely, the man's head kind of sort of bowed, but we never see his face, so we don't really know exactly what's going on with the man or what he's feeling. Some of the social trends at this time was it was a reaction to the Enlightenment. It was a complete rebellion against the past ways of thinking. This idea started in Germany with this idea called Weltschmerz, which basically translates to world weariness and a longing to return to nature and be in the natural world. Uh, what furthered this feeling of Weltschmerz was reaction to the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars, when people realized that their dreams of liberty, equality, and fraternity weren't going to happen. So a musical work that exemplifies this is Beethoven VI. It's called his Pastoral Symphony, and it was composed in 1808, just 10 years before the painting was painted. Beethoven isn't really considered a romantic, but he certainly did have many romantic ideals, especially pertaining to nature. He once wrote, for surely woods, trees, and rocks produce the echo men desire to hear. And he wrote that in 1810. Um, it has five movements, all of them are named. I listened to especially the fourth movement called Tempest Storm, and it does have a very stormy sort of feel to it, almost like a thunderstorm actually happening. So that parallels the painting's storms. All right, the literary work I chose was John Keats' Ode to a Nightingale. He was an English poet who lived from 1795 to 1821, a very short life. The poem starts out with a lone figure experiencing some sort of heartbreak. We never know what. Uh, the opening lines of the poem are, my heart ache, aches. The second poem, the second stanza starts to introduce this nature imagery such as earth, flora, country green, those are all words from the poem. Then a nightingale's music sort of like draws the speaker's attention and he starts to reflect inwardly and then the poem ends as the bird flies away. Um, I'm drawing this conclude, um, in parallel to the wanderer because we never really see the wanderer's face. They, could al they almost go very well together. They both deal with the same sort of like emotional undertones. So we see with these three separate works all composed around the same time they all have the same similar themes because they drew off the contemporary political and social events thank you